Hey everybody, Alex Kazora, SteelersDepot.com, back with some Pittsburgh Steelers tape breakdown and analysis. I know most of the time my videos are on something really pertinent and top of mind, some big happening that occurred in that you know most recent Steelers game. A little different today. I want to just nerd out for a second like the title says. I know that no one's going to watch this video. No one's going to really care. I care about it. Maybe a couple of you do. I, I love watching Montrevious Adams, not just necessarily his actual D-line play, although I think it's been pretty good, but just this is a big man who loves to run, who shows great effort, and you got to respect it. Let's go to the tape. And before we get into the clips, if you guys could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate that. Again, this is me just nerding out here for a couple minutes and just having some fun here later in the week before the Texans game. But Montrevious Adams lined up right here, the D-tackle. This is on Christian McCaffrey's long, I think, 69 or 65-yard touchdown run in week one. Not a good play here for Pittsburgh, obviously. But look at the big man go. Look at Montrevious Adams try to hawk down Christian McCaffrey. I mean, he is... A long ways to go, and the arms are pumping, the knees are high, he's trying. Doesn't get there, unfortunately, but lands on top of McCaffrey. And so, not a good outcome, I know, but how many defensive linemen do you see that run like that? There's a couple, and Kim Hayward runs, is it better, and has more fanatical effort than basically any defensive lineman you're ever going to see. But this is a dude that you know runs over the lineman there, kind of gets bumped into him, and he is chugging. He is trying, big man moving, good effort, unfortunately. Still a touchdown. All right, now let's talk the Jerome Ford 69-yard cutback run in Week 2. Again, not good plays for the defense, and I know we can talk about what went wrong on this play and Levi Wallace giving up the edge, all that kind of stuff, but just watch Montrevious Adams. Again, look at the big man go, trying to chase down Ford. He gets passed up by everybody, of course, DBs versus uh, a defense alignment and, and great effort by Mika Fitzpatrick too to save the touchdown. But just just watch the effort here. Big man trying his best, never going to give up, never know what's going to happen. I love the effort in the motor and the athleticism from Montrevious Adams, who is here as Ford begins to cut this thing back. And he knows the angle and he's trying and you just got to respect that. So good effort by him. Really good effort by Mika Fitzpatrick. And again, not that we're celebrating the outcome but this guy is running, and then we'll uh, uh, scroll through this here. He's out there for the next three plays, the goal line plays, because they're in their uh, 4D lineman package. He's got to be out there for it, and so he just ran the length of the field, and you're not getting the, the snap off. You're out there for the next one, and he was out there for the next two, and so it's not even where he got a breather. He was right back into it, so kudos to him for that. Another clip against the Browns, and here is Montrevious Adams, and just watch him hustle and chase down Deshaun Watson. Now, there was a penalty, I believe, on this play. I think this one got called back. Uh, yeah, this was actually because of Watson on the face mask, and I've been a hold on, on Jed Wills as well, but Adams chasing this one down the whole way. He is right there, and he's going to just do his best as Watson grabs Herbig's face mask and throws him away, and, you know, I mean, he jukes out Larry Joby Watson does, but it was Adams that... Chase this one the whole way. We'll see it from the end zone view. Here is Montrevious Adams. And so I know that people want to see Keanu Benton play more, and I do as well. I think in sub-package football, he should be getting some more reps. But I think Adams had a really good camp, and he's had a good start to the year um, in, in some ways. I mean, I don't, he's not this classic, you know, two-gap plugger the way that Casey Hampton is, but you're seeing the athleticism, the hustle, and the team respects it. All right, let's look at some better outcomes for the Steelers defense. Goal line here in week three, Sunday night against the Raiders. There is Montrevious Adams. The Raiders running a toss to the boundary side. Nice job here by Levi Wallace to box this one and force it back in. But look at Adams. I mean, he's playing. He's playing the dive here. He's lined up here uh, from the backside of the play, and the A-gap has to work through the trash and Stays on his feet, keys the ball, and has a, a good stop there. And I don't know for sure, but if Adams does not get over there, then this may be a touchdown. Jacobs may fall forward and get into the end zone. Holcomb's got his back turned there, and Jacobs, of course, a powerful guy, and Wallace is on the tackle, but can Jacobs fall forward a couple yards? There's a good chance of that. So this one, I know the Raiders ended up scoring here, but this tackle and effort by Adams may save a touchdown on this particular play. 
Last example, and this is not him chasing the ball downfield, but I love the effort here on the final play of the game for the Steelers' defense against the Raiders here is Adams. Just the extra strain at the end. There's actually some pressure on Jimmy Garoppolo on this play against the left tackle, Colton Miller. Garoppolo throws this one off his back foot, and Levi Wallace picks it off. So just watch Adams here. They're running this game between him and Alex Highsmith because the chip is coming, and you see... You know, good bull rush here um, in the Colton Miller pushes him back. And there's some pressure that is created on this one. And at least the, inter the interception and the win for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And finally, I'm going to have a little fun here at the very end because I love the All-22 for a bunch of reasons. Uh, mostly, or well, in part, I should say, because you get to see some sideline action. You never get to see the sideline, you know, when you're watching the TV tape unless you get some, uh, you know, cutaways. But I love watching the reactions here. So I'm going to I'm going to do my own. John Boy impression and talk about all the all the funny things I'm kind of noticing at the end of this interception uh, by Levi Wallace. So going through it, we got all the different reactions here. There is um that's Marcel Pastor, the strength and conditioning coach, going crazy. There's Cam Hayward. Look at Denzel Martin. I'll run this thing back. Uh, they're just you know Martin is losing his mind. He's such an energy bringer. He's really fun to watch on the sideline and during training camp. Uh, that's Martin there, the outside linebackers coach, and he is just losing his mind right now. Now uh, we'll go back and. Run it again, you see the camera guy, he's got to get this shot, and he's trying to run around, and oh my goodness, everyone's starting to move, and I got this really heavy camera on me, so I got to run with these guys. You got the different reactions, you got the silent fist pump there from Armand Watts. You got, I love this, I want to know what's happening here. Look at Isaiah Laudermoke, watch uh, Laudermoke right here. He's on the sideline, he's not part of the uh, kneel down. Uh, puts his helmet on. What's he putting his helmet on for? Is that is that you don't get fined for that in that situation, right? If you put your helmet on or if you have your helmet off as you're kind of, you know, celebrating at the very end of the game, they're not going to get you for that. But he puts his helmet on and he's running. Not 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 sure where he's going right now. Uh, Najee doesn't have his helmet on, so I'm not sure. Not sure what Latimer was doing on that. Maybe he thought the cameras might be on. Want to look cool in my helmet? I I don't know. We got Danny Smith coming in the frame, and then Mike Tomlin keeping it classy. A little dap up there with Devonte Adams. Go trade for me is probably what Devontae Adams is saying right now. And uh, Mika Fitzpatrick, good game to Devontae as well. So that is the the little just cutesy end of game theatrics from the Pittsburgh Steelers. But Montrevious Adams, his effort, um, his athleticism, it's a lot of fun to watch. And I just appreciate Mike Tomlin says, you know, little guys hit, big guys run. And Adams is a big guy who can run, who plays with all-out effort. And uh, I really appreciate that. So thank you for indulging me and nerding out in this video. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you guys watching. Again, if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate that. Thank you for watching and we'll talk to you soon.